Okay, sit still everybody. She is very, very close. So close, in fact. Focus, sit very nice and still there. Do not jiggle about too much. She's much closer than I thought she was going to be. I don't know where her son is. I'm actually just going to move slightly further away. I don't think it's very nice to be that close to her. She might take offence at us. Unfortunately, we cannot turn this car very well because it has the turning circle of a battleship. There we go. How's that? And there we are. Hello, madam. Where is your son? I can't see the sun. Of grief. Now, just <laughs> just to keep you posted, we are still working on these new cameras, and so I know it looks like you're staring into a black hole, but uh, that will change. We've just got to fiddle a few settings, and with any luck, uh, out of the shadows will emerge the beautiful picture of, oh, look at that. There she is, she even opened her eyes on time. Gorgeous. That is Tandi, everybody. Tandi killed a fully grown male impala the other day. It is now starting to smell quite rancid. It's just behind where she's lying. She doesn't mind the smell at her. To her, I suppose, smells like the Sunday roast just about to come out of the oven. Oh, I do like the way you've done the colour there, Fergus. I think it looks rather good. Um, I, can you see her son anywhere, Fergus? Do you I see him? No son. See him son. nowhere here. If you have just joined us, this is Tundi. Uh, Tundi is must be ten by now. I'm not sure exactly when her birthday is. And she has a son called Tamba, who's eight or nine months old. Tamba means rock. And that's because he was born apparently under a rock. And it was chosen by our viewers in the United States, actually, during the Nat Geo TV shows, Nat Geo Wild TV shows that we did earlier this year in January and February. And she's called Tandi, which means, well, basically just means love. You'll get all sorts of newfangled names like um, she who is loved, the beloved one, she who has been beloved for all time, but it just means love, basically. <clears throat> and what a pretty name it is. Now, she's panting like that, certainly not because it's hot. She's panting like this because she's been eating a huge amount. And like I say, the little twitches and changes that you see with the camera are simply a function of the fact that we're still uh, getting the right color profiles and sorting out the lighting and that sort of thing. So do bear with us on that, and thank you for bearing with us on it. She's very sleepy. Um, we might not spend a huge amount of time here. I, I would like to spend some time and then maybe try and come back a bit later. But the thing is with these cats, is that they're so popular to so many people that the sighting might fill up a bit later. Anyway, I think for now we'll just enjoy her, even though she's not doing a great deal. She's not swinging from the tree. Mm. And then we'll try and find her son at some stage as well. <laughs> well. That's really useful. Thank you so much for lying in the grass and doing absolutely nothing. I wonder if we shouldn't do a little loop around and see if we can't find Tamba. Right, well, let's just go around the corner.
Well, while we search for him, I believe Tristan has managed to successfully find himself some.